Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Soviet Skylines. And today we're going to be focusing on developing our capital city for. Right, there you go, Mr. Kopti, helicopter in the starting. <laughs> starting screen so we can go and um, uh, move away now and let them do the voodoo that they do do so well and uh, we're going to be developing this public transport system so uh, mayor of babushkino miss babushka um, uh, put in her two cents concerning the development of the public transport system and it was a nice exchange of ideas now a public transport system is works the best when it's not uh, connected to rest of the traffic well the rest of the system for example this tram train system that we're going to have over here is going to look uh, it's going to work absolutely flawlessly i think it's going to be peachy it's going to be really nice um and definitely and definitely sorry about that mr moore i blame you <laughs> this i'm recording this uh at, at my time it's the uh 8 30 in the morning we have a passionate political discussions on the discord so feel free to join they're not really that passionate it's nice guys exchanging the ideas anyway so uh what we're gonna do here is implement the public transport system first Right, uh, in, before we start that, the most important, important bottleneck we had up until now is being resolved, which is really nice to see. Um, we have enormous amounts of gravel being processed. Do we have any bottlenecks? Looks like all the trucks are working flawlessly. I will change this. <laughs> I, I will screw this up. Um, and actually, I really will. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I will go back. I looked for excuses and way to bypass the rules of the game too many times um, what i'm gonna do now actually you know what i think i'm gonna implement a new distribution office uh, we're gonna build a new distribution office and as soon as this is done we're gonna be utilizing that one let's just go for under d the distribution office we're gonna go for a smaller one it's fine how many vehicles station for vehicles loading really Oh, that's me. Okay, no. Um, park spots vehicle four. There we go. The smallest one ever. We're gonna have this one around here. Where I'm gonna place it? Where I'm gonna place it? I have no idea. We can place it around here. I think no. It has to be either here or somewhere else. Let's just see. Let's just see. Can I squeeze it in here between these? Uh, yeah. You know what? Let's do it uh, in this direction, just so it takes a little bit less space. There we go. Let's let's build it here. So this is going to be a distribution office that's going to be distributing fuel um, uh, to our quarries. So what I'm going to change, Mr. Manuel, I'm going to shout out, uh, give a shout out to you first, Mr. Manuel. Um, yeah, uh, we had a little bit of a discussion in Discord and on the comment section about the gravel um, in in production of gravel. We exchanged some photos, screenshots. I still believe that quarried stone um, in general, unprocessed one, which I don't know, really know if this is the one or not. Who cares? that uh, it should be transported with something bigger like trains and trucks rather than conveyor belts but that's a personal opinion and you had a really really um, a good arguments for using conveyor belts from the from the quarry i think still think i'm gonna try to go back to the game mechanics initially and fix the wrongs that i did until now the wrongs being i was avoiding of uh, dealing with the fuel supply to our excavators so what i'm gonna be doing not only that i'm gonna be putting fueled uh, excavators here actually you know what let's do it straight away so we have a gravel I, i'm gonna try to uh, so what's what's this whole uh, this game about this game is about resolving problems it's a micromanagement it's it's this is the whole point of it and putting conveyor belts or electrical excavators into these uh, stations it's definitely not the way to go this is just um using outside means of resolving the problem i'm not the best of using in-game means to resolve the problem i have a lot of issues i do find a lot of um external solutions to the problems that uh, bypass the original game mechanics in this case using these stationary vehicles what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go and sell these vehicles 
Uh, not only that, I'm going to try to be a little bit more realistic. So what I'm going to do is sell these vehicles and I will be uh, buying the vehicles that fit in the time scale. Unfortunately, we don't have anything except these that are three years old. So I'm going to be using these and they're going to be fueled. So they're going to, be, they're going to require fuel to operate and they will cause problems for us because they will go for refueling. This is why I'm uh, building the, um, the distribution office here that's going to be loading fuel and bringing it to these um, uh, quarries directly. And I'm going to do the same here. This is another issue that we need to resolve. And I know that a lot of people, including Mr. Stutz mentioned that they use these stationary excavators. I think I will go a little bit step further, even though there's a lot of steps behind me that I still didn't adopt, I will be doing this. Now, uh, the problem with this and uh, to avoid uh, most of the problems with this, well, in, in our case, you need to um, uh, not let them wait until loaded because, uh, well, as we previously mentioned in the previous episode, they will be, when they come here, uh, they're going to be waiting until loaded. And if there's no excavators and there's no workers working in there, they will um, uh, block the traffic and block the excavator from coming back to work to actually start filling in the uh, the trucks. So for now, I will I replaced all of them uh, with fueled excavators, and you're gonna see after they start working after a few seconds, they're gonna run out of fuel and they're gonna run outside and go back to refuel. Initially, it's gonna be uh, uh, here we go. They both are now are going to refuel. Uh, luckily for us, we do have fuel stations kind of close by. You should see these guys uh, going to refuel. As you can see here, this guy is going to refuel. Uh, oh, who is filling? Okay. Well, nobody is filling anybody. So they're going to go and refuel and it's going to cause a little bit more problems. But this is the thing about this game. These are the problems that are there that you need to solve. Hopefully by not you know, building electric excavators, uh, which I'm going to try to avoid doing in the future. I'm going to try to have them fueled and also have a distribution office that is, uh, you know, responsible for bringing fuel to the quarries. So there we go. A little bit, uh, um, well, some kind of difficulty and, well, I'm tr going to try to resolve it. Anyway, uh, we're still going to have two quarries. I will just phase out some of the vehicles, trains uh, that are, uh, oh, let's see here, some trains that are bringing, I'm going to have to find where the trains are first. So we have quarry. This is the only one, all, the only quarry supplying, uh, supplying, uh, well, gravel. So I'm going to open all, all the trains. Oh, I missed one. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's just, let's just deal with this one first. Where, where is you? You is uh, full of rocks and uh, full of rocks, not really full of rocks. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. What about you? Uh, you, 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 uh, you are also getting full with rocks. Okay, I'll leave you alone. This one is empty. Okay, where is this one? This one is over here. Uh, that one is uh, just leaving. Okay, this is the one that we need. This is the most important one. This is the one that doesn't need to operate anymore. What I'm going to do now is just send them to storage area and that's it. Uh, go and take care of yourself. Have a nice life because we're not supplying gravel here anymore. So he can be on his merry way. Uh, can I remove all of this? Perfect. I removed even all the... Oh. Yeah, I think I removed all. Uh, he, he should be going to the storage facility now. Okay, so let's go and yeah, he's, he's probably going. Uh, yeah, and then we have the last one that I didn't. Where are you? These all have stones. Okay, I'll, I'll let them. I'll, I'll let them. Uh, deliver these stones and I'm gonna phase them out. Well, not all of them. Obviously, we're gonna have one or two still going there and I'm gonna have one or two going over here and soon we're gonna have the, the forward nuclear uh, construction area <clears throat> filled with gravel as well. So, uh, next stop we have, next stop we have is the railroad construction. As you can see in the last episode, I did assign a couple of more of these. You know what? In order to keep them because they don't start on a new project until they finish the last one. Oh, but do they? Okay, this is a problem because when they finish the single track, these 
they usually continue building the next track um, and the, the track next to it. Now, if I give them too much, uh, too many assignments, they might not continue building the track uh, that is. Uh, let's just remove this one. They might not continue building the track that is next in line uh, to continue construction. They might go for the one that is actually on the list here. So I think I'm gonna have to manually. I will. I want to manually do this, and. Um, uh, assigned for them to have enough work. So I think this is going to be the faster way of doing this. So we have three railroad projects that we need to deal with. One of them is uh, the nuclear industries and the supplies over here, the, the logistics center. The second one is farm in the new area. These need to be finished before we put this in production. And the third one is the gravel supply from the new area over here. They need to finish the railroad. Oh, obviously, the farm railroad is well almost done. It's going to be done any second now. And then we need this finish, this parking space over here. And I want to finish all of it before we um, before we continue on with, uh, before we supply, well, start supplying gravel from here, even though this is filling really, really fast. Uh, right. So what else is the here? What else is this? Uh, this is going to be done. Uh, I don't think this is necessary anymore. Just to look at a little bit more. A nicer. I should probably remove the, f the road and then, you know what, let, 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 let that be at least. Okay, so uh, there you go. A little bit harder setup that we have uh, running around here. So I'm going to leave it at that. We're going to monitor the railroad construction and we're going to focus on our capital city. Now let's talk about the capital city. Um, something I learned from other games, including Skylines, is um, if you don't want people to use some of your roads, you need to discourage them from using those roads. So how do you discourage people from, like trucks, for example, or public transport system, doesn't really matter. In this case, the worry uh, that uh, Pickle Babushka had about this is that this main road is going to be uh, used too much by the uh, well traffic. Now we need to obviously discourage them from using it. How do we do that? We need to build um, complicated roads, something that is not going to be the most logical thing to use. So windy roads. Um, unfortunately, like we mentioned, we cannot build non-traffic roads for the trolley buses. So we're going to have to go for um, these complicated things, so zigzagging roads that is going to make it actually longer than using any of the other roads. So, for example, most of our traffic, I'm going to assume they're going to be using this main road because um, hospitals, um, fire stations, shops, they're all on this main road. Of course, uh, hospitals and fire stations will use this windy road, uh, the, the 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 the, the trolley bus road, but only for you know servicing the people and uh, the main traffic will stay out of it hopefully uh, so what we're gonna do here i was thinking about this kind of road here and then i'm gonna go for the platform stations and start building these um extra small small we need a pass-through station i think this one is the best one this pass through oh then no it needs to be on both sides Okay, we don't have that. We don't have that here. This is one directional trolley bus station, which is an um, oxymoron because you can't have one way uh, trolley. Uh, you cannot put the, the one way uh, signs on these trolley uh, roads. So technically, even though this trolley bus line here uh, says that it's for, you know, entrance from one side and exit on the other side, you cannot actually connect it from the road like that because um, tra traffic will be, it will go both directional. But, 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 on the other hand, this is again, uh, Pickle Babushka, this is again the thing that can uh, stop the traffic going through there, one-way streets. So, well, one-way station in this case. But well, I, I'm not going to deal with this now. I will go and build these vanilla tra uh, tram station, the trolley bus stations. So this would be these guys here. There they can enter from both sides. So let's say somewhere in the middle uh, servicing this part of the city. So something like this. Uh, like this. And then... For example, it needs to go, this is going to be servicing this area nicely. Um, I was actually uh, thinking about this yesterday and uh, there's another way we can um, we can discourage use of these roads. 
Not that you, sorry, we, we can upgrade. So, for example, who will ever in their right mind use this trolley bus to go anywhere? I mean, people from here going there, but there's no, there's nothing here. There's no trucks over here. Uh, so, so nobody's going to, and from here going vice versa, again, nobody's going to use something like this. Um, uh, um, I probably will have to build either a parallel road to this which I can do um, uh, in order to connect it to the rest of the system. For example, um, uh, what I wanted to build here is the this station. Let's see, the, where, where is it? Uh, this L-shaped station. Again, this is, yeah, this is going to have to be kind of circular. L-shaped station. Yeah, the problem with this one, it actually is, it's not passed through. Um, because, uh, okay, so what's the problem with this? I, I wanted to build three stations, like one station here, one station here, and one station around here. But what, what I had a dream about, or what I was thinking about, I can actually implement the trolley buses going all the way here. So we can supply the industrial area from here also with trolley buses, not, not buses. Uh, it's cleaner and whatever. And, uh, but, but how am I supposed to pass through here? Well, you can use the main roads, but that's exactly the opposite from what we want to do. We want to separate these trolley bus lines or discourage other vehicles from using it. I can again rebuild. Um, what I can do is build a parallel system for trolley bus roads here um, and maybe discourage vehicles from using it uh, by putting not, not one way roads. No, it, it can be just not connected to everything else. So for example, like this, we can have the, uh, let's see this, and then can, can we go this way? L let's, just, let's just play with this, bear with me. Uh, so let's go like this, okay. And then removing removing this i'll make it nicer um so we can have the trolley buses using only this line i'm gonna rebuild the bridge that's not a problem and then have it all the way parallel to to this okay that looks like fun and and then connect it here but obviously I, I can build a new station. Yeah, I think even building a new station is much better than using the old infrastructure because uh, I can provide them with alternative before we actually demolish the original station. So something like this, you can discourage the trucks from using it uh, and also putting a station in the middle. So, you know, trucks definitely won't be using this. Well, other road vehicles. So this is something that I was uh, thinking about, uh, like connecting, expanding or planning to expand the uh, capital city uh, transit network uh, in the future. Initially, if I'm going to do like so something like this, obviously we have to connect this one to the to the system, but if we're going to do something like this, we need to plan that these stations that we're going to build around here should be either these uh, vanilla stations or they should be end stations that are not going to be in a way for future development. So, for example, if we go for, let's say, small station over here, it should be aside from this. So when we expand our system, uh, let's see, this is not the trolley line. When we expand our transit system, here we go. So we can actually plan for this so it can be connected. So uh, we can't, you know, build it as an end of the line, just a trolley bus line going to the station. Stop. No, it, it would be nice if we can actually think about this system, you know, in a little bit better way. If I want to make it more little, because this is not for, this is less than 400 meters. I mean, like the distance of this road that we just built is, uh, wow, it is like, uh, well, this is 350 meters. So technically from this corner, to, to this corner here, it's these two stations are like 400 meters with a straight line, um, uh, the, the distance. But uh, the first station and the last station, and especially the station that's going to be on the coast, on the beach side, they will be using, you know, to get from one side to the other. They're going to need public transport system, and trolley buses usually have high capacity of workers, so why the hell not? Just offer them as many stations as we can, just to keep our people happy. Uh, yeah, so this is this is something that I was thinking about, and I think I will go for something like this. So we can construct this trolley bus line. Uh, I will probably do something stupid like this, um, just to keep it looking, you know, interesting. Uh, station here, station there. We need to have a station here, but since I already said that I would like to have 
uh, extension of the network trolley bus network i would pr probably have to go either through uh with with one of these Ooh, we can even make it here can't we look at this i can do it like this and can this be oh just about okay this is this is gonna be a little bit more playing uh i'm gonna play with this for a second and then we're gonna do let's uh, demolish the road as well remove that and let's try to play just to squeeze it in here i mean that that's not something that you should be doing in this game don't don't try to squeeze everything in you know sometimes it's just leave it with enough space but on the other hand, sometimes you can't really do it. <clears throat> Obviously, this is too tight here. Um, uh, I, I don't know if I made myself clear because obviously I have a problem of not making myself clear sometimes. Why are we not using the L-shaped station that would perf uh, fit perfectly here is because it actually it, it, it's the best thing for it. It's to be the end station because it does require the trolley buses to enter from one side and exit on the other. And I was thinking of getting a, like a pass through station like you know that they can enter and exit on both sides which this is not coffee time for me uh good morning vietnam uh, it's, it's 8 15 on monday i'm not working monday so hey hey guys hang in there the monday is gonna be over soon enough right continuing on continuing on uh, we need to build some kind of a pass through station um again this is the one that has maybe we can try um having the extra small station so this is the smallest one here in the corner if i can push it in here and squeeze it maybe no this is definitely something that can work for example if i remove these footpaths from here um small station can go all the way here something like this and then if we go and build a uh, rest of the trolley bus network so we wanted to build something like the trolley bus, bus lines trolley lines then um let's see can we build it from here be interesting uh, obviously the first dot is not ideal uh do i go and yeah let's try it like this maybe something like this and then we would have this parallel trolley bus or of course i i'm i'm i like trams more rather than this but anyway i i we we can't always choose trams it's not always viable transport uh system well you know and also they diversify it a, little, a bit so if we go for something like this and then rebuild these for example uh we can have a parallel road you know what this one road here uh, can be why, why the hell did i destroy this um this one road here can be only for trolley buses because again i don't see anybody using this unless we get cars involved but uh we're gonna we're gonna hold off from creating that problem for us for a while for 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 now for now uh, so for example this would be a good option for this would be a good option for our public transport system so we would have parallel roads for trolley buses i am pretty sure that this wavy road will not be used by the vehicles going up and down here because this straight road seems to be a much faster but we can always see if this is going to be the case so this is something that i was thinking about how the public transport can work um, and how we can build this and then if we're gonna already plan for the badia 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 if we're gonna plan for for extension of our public transport system i can straight away plan for the rotate is this 90 degrees hopefully it is for something like this yeah so th so there we go we're gonna have one station and then second one even though they are quite close to each other uh <laughs> We can build it a little bit further down there, but I don't know if I want to have these trolley buses going so far. So one, two, three, four, and potentially fifth one around here. I think that's going to be enough. Well, we'll see. How, you know what? Maybe I should straight away plan for this expansion as well. Just to make this parallel road here. Um, it, it can be set for construction, but it's not connected to anything, so it's not going to be constructed. Okay. Um like this bend it there we go make it pointier like mr musk says there we go 
Okay, uh, that's one, and the second one, we're rebuilding it for the 53rd time already, even though we didn't have to do it this time. Uh, we can set this for construction. Again, this is still not being constructed because we need to finish our... Um, this is the depot. We need to finish this bad boy over here. Of course, it requires bosses, so let them finish this. Okay, so we have, uh, we have some things set for construction here. Uh, they're gonna start working on these. Uh, this this is not gonna be too long because uh, th this is gonna be tricky. These these guys here are gonna be quite tricky. I'm gonna get them to uh, work on footpaths. Footpaths working on this one straight away. So we will have a parallel system. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this one. Oh, this is fun. Okay, it's connected there, that's fine. There we go. So, something like this. Is this long enough? It is. This is going to be handled by automation. This is going to be tricky, but it's not connected to anything yet. So, let it be. Let it be. Let it be. Okay, let's uh, let's start finishing the rest of the systems, or the rest of the infrastructure here. So, capital bosses can construct this. Is there this requires to be constructed? Yes, this is underground pipes. This can be done by Capital One. I think we're gonna go for the second one over here. This is gonna be done by Capital Two. Uh, this is the underground cable. Uh, this is the underground uh, heating plants. Uh, sorry, uh, heating pipes. And capital bus over here to finish these buildings. Okay, so we're gonna have university here, and I kind of still stick to the idea that this university will have a unobstructed view of, well, whatever. This is the city hall, but it's gonna have a little bit nicer view, um, you know, to inspire our young students, you know, for for better for better future. Uh, I'm not gonna build high rises in front of it. I do think I'm gonna build some kind of buildings here, uh, gym, for example, or, uh, gymnasium and potentially big gymnasium around here would be really really good uh, sports playgrounds something for did we have that one big sports hall this is not bad yeah and this is not too high this is definitely lower than the building over here so it shouldn't obstruct a lot of views but what I was thinking about we had that new um, school with the School with a gymnasium next to it. Let's see. Football play playgrounds. No, 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 no. Did I remove that mod? I don't think I should have because I really liked it. The the yeah maybe because it was uh, it, it had the school had like an unrealistic high amount of uh, yeah maybe okay let's let's not talk about that um, this is nice this is also some of those that can be attached towards the to the building because Mr. Robs made it that it can be attached but uh, it's it's uneven terrain here so probably we should build you know what I think we should build arena I think we could we should build the main sports arena around here and a big sports hall uh, you know like. Like, um, a hockey club I think this would be uh, the best thing to do around here so let's go and level this first and now uh, you know what I will connect this to the road system later on but this is what what is gonna be here uh, the committee has spoken so top two windows here should have unobstructed view of the of the city and you know skyline and this kind of stuff okay f1 grade remove that one we will connect it to the road later on and we will build the infrastructure later on i don't want to segment these longer roads okay uh, let me just check ruda schlanska do we have any here we go this one is empty so this one you know what no they need to continue going uh, loading at the same area just because uh, we need to finish the uh, railroad infrastructure over here you can see that these guys are building it so this is fine uh, they're gonna finish this soon uh, I'm pretty sure they already finished crap load of this stuff well at least one uh, where's the railroad construction office come on let's scroll down there you can see that we have uh, only uh, three projects being worked on uh, I will see I think this is already assigned no it's not okay well, that's weird. I thought that was a sign. Doesn't matter. Let them start on this project. They will automatically continue working on the one of these two lanes straight away. So this is going to be a long project. That's good. That's exactly what I want. I want them to 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 be busy. Oh, foggy day again. Uh, that's nice. <laughs> 
<laughs> not really, but fine. Uh, we can populate this. This is another uh, farm that I'm going to build in the same manner. I paused the game in the same manner as this farm. But let's put this... Okay, let's not. I wanted to put this to operation. Uh, Copty foot, but really? Okay. I thought that uh, Copti will build this road, or somebody will, that it's in range, but looks like this road is not in a range of automation of anything. Strange. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we need more fields here. We have one big-ish field here, one big-ish over here, and two half of the fields. So this small farm having only four fields, it's uh, a little bit on the downside. Uh, we should probably have more fields, but we don't have any place to place them. There is a little bit over here, but how am I supposed to get tractors here without obstructing the main traffic? I have no idea. Beats me. Okay, so uh, we can do across the street. Uh, we can do this area here as farming. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to look nice. Form over function. I'm telling you guys, this is, this is how we need to um, set our expectations. So we're going to have a big field. Uh, let's see. I wanted to have a big field over here. And obviously this is going to be a little bit problematic. But on the other hand, we can build stuff like this. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, we need to cross our f uh, farming equipment needs to cross the road over here. So let's try to cross road over here. Uh, no snapping. So let's try like this. Okay, so it can go all the way here. Uh, what about uh, if I bend it? Can I bend it? Uh, there we go. That's much better. And then continue parallel to the railroad tracks. Let's let's just say all the way here. Okay, so we have this main road. I will uh, asphalt this one. This is going to be for tractors. Unfortunately, they will bother traffic a little bit, but they're just going to cross across and then have access to this. And then let's try to see if we can squeeze farms in here. Uh, so, uh, 90 degrees, degrees towards the road. Wow, we can overlap these farms a lot. Uh, let's see. From this side, well, let's play with this idea. What's with this? Okay, this doesn't look like... Oh, boy. This looks like so much fun. Okay, so this is something that looks like we should be, uh, well, doing. Obviously, we, I tried with the big fields. I can do with much more smaller fields, but they will be small anyway. You can see how much we can. This one is weird. Why isn't? Why didn't it go a little bit more uphill? But anyway, I'll redo these two fields because I think they are not... Uh, let's try with this. Can you be connected? You can see this, this is the problem. I need to move these fields a little bit further uh, away from the edge. Uh, let's unpause this. I don't know if we need to pause anything, but let's try it like this. So, so something like this. Okay, this is a little bit better, even though this is going to look absolutely... Yes, it's going to be exactly what I said, absolutely. Um, yeah, it can be connected. I just wanted to check this because we're going to build this. But um, obviously, it's it's uh, some of these fields are not the greatest fields ever seen by human foot something stepped on. Uh, right, so yeah, I, but th this is what we need to do. This is the best we can do. Uh, at least in this area, so that's fine. Even though this farm was built, you know, can have better capacity. We can, we can uh, try to go up hills. Uh, so let's play with this idea. How big of a field will be here? You can see some of them will be a little bit bigger than the others. Uh, what about this one? There we go. Uh, there we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Continuing on. Coffee time. Time-wise, we are halfway through. Ish. Uh, right. All of this is being constructed. That's fine. Farm is more or less, well, 
ready to be put in production but it's end of the year so it's potentially better to wait for to see if they're gonna be uh, finishing these roads and then um, uh, potentially putting all the fields uh, opera to operation uh, at the same time. Uh, the road here is done. Hopefully this is going to be done. Ooh, let me see if it was assigned. Yeah, Copti Road is going to be working on this. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, should have I maybe utilized this? No, no, we're gonna we're gonna expand more Mansk as well. Mr. Moore's city will grow. I'm thinking about something here. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, residential buildings here. Something five, six, seven floors, uh, six, seven, eight floors. It's really hard to find these kind of buildings. Um, three story, not a problem. Uh, what about something long uh, ish? How, how tall is this? Five story. Okay, five story is good enough. Uh, I wanted to have a flat roof on top, and yeah, this is flat ish. I think this is this is good enough. So let's try this. Uh, let's try this and maybe no this is gonna be too dense I don't want to overdo it we can try something like this yeah I'm actually wondering how this is gonna function if I build something like this they obviously gonna be far away from shops and everything that they need so they're gonna rely heavily on the public transport system and I'm wondering how they're gonna cope with this uh, people uh, so as as mr. Joshua likes uh, when I do this uh, let's test this I'm gonna we're gonna test this so I'm gonna build something like this uh, and um, uh, you know this can be constructed like this uh, I will build I will build you know what let's go for the first and the last one because they're gonna be the most important ones is this and then I'm gonna have only one mud road here you can see that we can upgrade this one over here there we go. Um, and then this can be set up uh, for construction by Mr. Groundwork Murmansk. Groundwork Murmansk. And there we go. We're going to have expansion of Murmansk a little bit more. Again, we're going to have to see the needs of the people here. Culture, culture, culture. This is also... Um, uh, there you go. This is one of the problems that I have with this. These guys require culture. I'm betting that culture sites are half full. So cinema over here. Uh, let's see what's with uh, uh, here we go New Year's Square for example is barely being used well it has capacity but it's not being and is it in walking range it's even in walking range so it shouldn't be a problem for them to use this but it is for some reason maybe it's too far away uh, and I don't know how to resolve this spirituality who cares Culture is a big thing. 77 people out of, from this building cannot enjoy the culture. And I think it's a common theme. 38 from this building. And then we have, uh, how many here? 67 here as well. So it's it's a weird one. Uh, I can put culture buildings closer to here and probably should do. Oh, look, at this is all finished. That's perfect. What's with this? Uh, do we need this? I don't think we do. Uh, you can see that we can upgrade some of the... Oh, let's try. Let's try make it look nice. Uh, right, right, right. A little bit more. Uh, here we go. Something like this. And then on this side, obviously, uh, this can be upgraded because this is a good way for them to to walk and uh, I think that's about it what I wanted to build here is uh, well you know how Let, let's see this we have some where does it go where is it under let's see culture 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 that would be on the cinema do we have some natural stuff nature stuff as cultural no it's all it's only buildings telephone booth one worker three users i can do that but that's not a solution to a problem and i don't know if it's uh something i, I hope that we have some uh greenhouse amphitheater what about this if it only didn't have collisions that would look nice uh, amphitheater here is that gonna be too loud no, no no it's not let's try the only thing is is it too too angled yeah it's 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 too angled it's too much for this one here uh, okay I don't know 
I was hoping for, I know that this is for attractions, tourism, the, the footpaths and the signs I wanted to build, you know, well, you know what, why the hell not, I, I will mirror here, why don't we build a nice uh, hiking trail around here, so let's see if we can do this, so if we do this, can you go uphill, you kind of can, but it's going to be weird, let's try like this, a little bit straightforward, just so it, okay, it's not going to go straightforward, um, Can you please? No, you can't. Okay, this doesn't work. Let's go in the opposite direction. Come on, work, you bastard. Okay, looks like you're gonna have to do the old school way, you know, creating these. Wow, okay. It cannot create bent here, but you can do whatever you want here. Okay, this is fine, actually. You know what? Let's remove this one and uh, under a tra Go away, go away. Oh, there we go. Um, under attractions, we're gonna go and build some of these signs and stuff, right? Yeah. There we go. There we go. We can we can start building some of these footpaths and their signs. I know that they don't do much. Um, we can go for the picnic spot. First one here, close by. We used to like. We used to do find a nice spot with a nice view and having a cold ones there on the warm summer nights yeah something like this uh, picnic spot here uh, another picnic spot here i will continue building this just a little bit uh, on the hillside this is gonna be the viewpoint of murmansk over here i won't go too far i think <clears throat> i think this is uh, long enough and it's obviously with locals is gonna be quite quite popular so let's uh, we, we can spread it out and fill it with uh, amenities or whatever later on so let, let's do it like this and let uh, the uh, footpath office finish these let's just see because it's so so wavy going all over the place let's see if it's in range it kind of is not oh they need to build this first uh, yeah it uh, it's probably gonna be in range okay let's leave it alone and, and deal with this later okay Going on, going further, let's see our construction offices. Let's go from the beginning. Uh, our people are 39,300, happiness so-so, hopefully that's going to be improving. Uh, Galask. Galask is proper little town these days. Uh, what do people need here? Uh, 5,700 people. How is a uh, food industry doing? Food industry, full storage. That's always nice to see. Uh, meat industry, full storage. So it's uh, working. We still didn't put this uh, other meat production in operation because obviously the this setup here is working fine for now. You can see that even livestock here is plentiful. We need to consume more meat. <laughs> yeah, vegetarians out there are going to be really happy by the words I'm uttering. Uh, Galaska working fine. Um, Statsovo and Markusovo, they are doing fine. We're not going to check them out. They are always doing fine and we didn't do anything differently here. Um, Whale tier. Mr. Anderson, Mr. Whale tier. Looks like situation is improving here. <clears throat> uh, looks like our people like when they are supplied with clothes for some reason. Uh, I will pause here just to check this out. Oh, right, right. I didn't mention that I fixed that in the last episode. I said that I will, but I didn't mention that I did because I recorded last episode like 24 hours ago and I forgot to mention it that I did. So we have shops here. A shop supplied with everything. We have shop here supplied with everything. We have shop here. This is again supplied with everything. This one requires food. Okay, we don't have food here. Why don't we have food? Uh, we don't have food, oh right, because this one is not sourced anywhere. So this is where you go and load food, go away and there we go. So food is going to be delivered to Whale, Fr uh, Whale Tier Waterfront Cafe, uh, that's nice. And then we have food shops, we have one food shop here, it's fully stocked, food shop here fully stocked and food shop over here, it's fully stocked. So looks like... <sighs> I don't want to jinx it. I just don't want to say it. I re Okay, you know what? Let's check this out. I'm not going to say anything, but let's check this thing out. Over 21s living with their parents. Boom! <laughs> well, Tier has over 21s living with their parents. Incredible. 
absolutely incredible. <laughs> Finally, we are resolving crap load of issues. Well, kind of, hopefully, permanently. <laughs> <laughs> concrete required here and the concrete required here i'm pretty sure that the uh, roads no this is gonna be whale tier uh no power supply that means you have concrete is it oh this one is not assigned to this one there we go so you can be assigned to this one so they can build this and then this is last segment and then tunnels what about this what about this this can be uh oh, we are upgrading this are we upgrading this uh kinda what do we need? Gravel, steel, electrical components. So that means both of these need to be assigned to this. Both gra Because gravel is delivered by these the construction offices. And then we have uh, electrical components and the rest of it uh, the steel delivered with these. And of course workers and the buses and all that. We're going to have to do this manually, but that's fine. So we're going to speed the construction of this on both sides. That's fine. Uh, how is everything doing here? Steel is fine. How are we doing with, uh, more importantly, with Mr. Moore months, Mr. Moore city? Looks really, really nice. Looks nice. Healthcare. I don't know how to get healthcare and everything else. Wow, Kami. <laughs> the, the, the university. It's, it, it requires, well, better capacity, but I think eventually everybody... You know what? When I went to college in the early 2000s, uh, they said that then it was 7% of population was... Uh, uh, university educated. Now I think this number is way, way higher. I don't know though if the value of, uh, of uh, education is the same or similar or, or I don't know. I'm not going to go into that, but um, uh, we don't have to have 100% of people educated. So this is whale tier uh, and they still have 50%, around 50% of people are college educated. This is a lot. Education levels with no education is 1,890 uh, people, and we have 1,941 children between 7 and 21, and these are the ones that are usually don't, they don't get education. Plus, no, no, they do get education. These guys don't, little babies. So we have in educational system 400 kids, well, basic educational system, plus uh, babies who don't have any education. So this looks nice. School here looks nice it has capacity it's running close to capacity but it has capacity so and we're not going to expand that much saying that and constructing these buildings it's it's kind of dodgy dodgy leaky that's going to be my new nickname uh, this needs to be finished this is the access from the outside only for construction of vehicles so they're going to do that and then they're going to start with the footpaths that's fine okay um in the last episode, we started doing something like this. We have shops here. Nobody's working in them. Uh, we only have one uh, building uh, operational over here. Let's see this thing here. Over 21 living in the parents. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's do this. Uh, let's uh, resettle some people here and see if we can kickstart shopping industry over here. Okay. I'm really hoping that they're going to go to shopping centers and start providing food to people. Okay, a lot of them going to the... No. There we go. Five is more than enough. Uh, vehicles. Uh, ooh, different colors. Uh, yeah, let's have a stool sample brown. No, it's green. Stool sample green. Ooh, Yugoslavian ones. Right, right, right. Let's go with these. Uh, let's go. All of them is going to be Yugoslavian ones. Perfect. Okay, uh, we're missing crap load of footpaths around here. Uh, well, just connecting it to the main road. So, con construct this. Uh, we said this is going to be a road. That's fine. So, we can have a footpath in between these two. Uh, there you go. What about this? This needs to be connected to footpaths. Let's go for one and two. There we go. Okay, finish those just to have better accessibility. Shops, there we go. Head on. Perfect. Uh, we have a uh, sellers. This is important so the resettled people can have food. So food and meat is going to be resolved. Culture, uh, Bolshoi theater. We need to have less employees here. I need to remember to put them back. Oh, and this, you know what? Uh, City Hall doesn't need to operate right now. Uh, this doesn't need to have any people coming to the station. Um, so what else do they need? School. Um, initially, I think, yeah, schooling system is going to be important. Ooh, uh, where am I supposed to place those? 
Well, I think it's going to be around here. This is the schooling district anyway, uh, the central part. And I think schools around here, like a um, big, big, big school. Uh, school, 280 people, kids, people, yeah. little people. Ooh. This looks. I. Uh, it doesn't look too. It does. We need mo more modern, uh, more modern looking building. Uh, this is Schola, nine hundred and sixty kids. Uh, Three hundred. This is sixties again. Uh, Two hundred and eighty. We had big nice schools. Where are they? Eighties. Four hundred kids. Yeah, this is something. This is a big one. How many? Uh, 540 kids. Maybe. I'm thinking about maybe. Let's feng shui this bad boy over here. I'm thinking about this school here. It's going to be connected with roads later on after the road is finished. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's just go with that. Bolshoi Theater is going to provide the culture. Sports facilities. Again, we are building a big gym over here. So... Uh, college, uh, arena, uh, school, we need kindergartners, but that's not important at the moment. Uh, the most important is then to have work and food and uh, not so many employed here. Less, less, less. And I'm going to put uh, some of these. Whoa. 10, yeah, 10, 10 is, is fine. Uh, I'm going to put these buildings to production. Copti 2. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is this not done? Oh, uh, right, right, right. These buildings cannot. Wow. Okay. These buildings cannot have the. They don't have a slot for excavators. That's strange. Heating. We need heating here. I forgot about that one. Okay. Let's finish these with uh, buses. Of course, we're going to need bus, bus, bus. What's with this one? This is a TV station. That's going to be. We can finish this. Uh, let's see. Which one has more excavators? Well, you're closer. So let's go here. You can. Whoa. Yeah, so this is where we, what we talked about last time. So this needs to have both sides connected. Okay, that's that's fine. We can do that. Yoink, build it. Okay, that's again going to take a little bit while for us to finish it. Uh, we could have gone with the mother road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop that. Stop it. Stop everything. Uh, stop the presses. Stop the presses. Let's go like this and then like this. And now this can be con uh, constructed by... Where is you? There we go. You're here. Uh, I'm going to upgrade the road later because I'm not going to put the employees here straight away. So it, it can it can be like this. Uh, unfortunately, education is going to take until next year to, to be finished. Uh, coal, coal, coal. This is close and this is done. Perfect. Let's go for... Oh, we have dumpers. Perfect. Uh, remove yourself. You're going to go here and then go over here. We have three parking spaces here. I'm going to go and tell this guy go away and go away straight away to unload this. And then I'm going to use you to copy it one and two. I think they're going to be OK. I think this is enough. And again, you go and down unload first, download first. And then you off you go, but go here first because you all have coal already. So they're going to go here and unload this coal as this is already connected to to uh, heating pipelines. It should be. There we go. Smoking. Now we can start checking for pollution, signs of pollution. There we go. Straight away it's changing colors. I think it's going to be polluting the crap out of... Yeah, look at the colors change here. Look at the colors. Let's just see. Yeah, 100%. Look at this. Look at the pollution go up. Come on. Come on. Let's see what's your... Do your worst so we can see how far can be... Yeah, I'm kind of hoping that this is far enough, but we'll see. Huh. It's going to be working on this maximum capacity for uh, at least a few more moments. How far? Look at this. Why is this so dirty now? Is this because of the cement? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Look at this bad boy over here. Where are you, where are you going, guys? Well, what you doing? 
Whoa. <laughs> Nail cement is a hot stuff here. You know what happened? Probably we didn't have the gravel delivered, and now gravel was delivered, as you can see. And we're consuming crap, a lot of gravel. They're gonna go back to where they came from soon enough. So what can we do? Ooh, this is done. Mr. Moore, uh, your vehicles can go and continue. Oh, they're assigned already. Okay, they're assigned already and they're missing uh, missing people to finish construction. Okay, road uh, missing people. That, well, isn't construction supposed to be doing this? All right, it's not assigned. It's not assigned. Let's go. Construction one and a two. We need people to finish these segments. Okay, roads over here. They're being finished. You can see roads everywhere being finished. This is Capital Road, Road Murmansk, Nuclear Road. Okay, there's no buses. I'm pretty sure that there's nobody delivering people. Perfect. So Capital Bus, finish this road. I'm pretty sure Capital Bus is going to require it for this one as well. Capital Bus, come and deliver people. What about this one? This is being paved. Uh, this one is uh, being rolled. Uh, that's going to be done soon as well. And it's going to require electrical components. So we're going to get capital bus on this one as well. And we are rolling. Bowling or something. Uh, this one has road more months. We need buses to finish this construction. We're going to need buses for this one here as well. So capital bus. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Anything else? Electricity looks like it's going to be an issue over here. We have a lot of stuff operational already. What's with this? People are building this. Yeah, there's no mechanization for this one. This is going to be really tricky. I don't know if next stages will have... Oh, wait. Yeah, there's no mechanization. I don't know if next stages will have a, a slot for mechanization, but... Uh, it could be, I highly doubt it moment, but uh, huh, let's check it out. This one is going to be done first anyway. Oh, right, right, right. We have crap, a lot of stuff being delivered here as well. Okay, uh, railroads, railroads. Uh, I can see that there's a huge, huge, still huge, huge. Okay, roads, railroads not being finished. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm pretty sure that one of these railroads is actually uh, over here. That needs to be finished. So let's go with this one. He wait, wait. Why didn't they... Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this railroad here. Okay, let, let, let them construct this and we'll see how it's going to look like. It looks weird. Uh, what's with these uh, railroads here? Do you have anything that under construction? Looks like no. Uh, what about these guys? No. Um, okay, okay. Uh, they have four constructions right now. I think I chose the right direction where we're going to be expanding this. Um, I can recheck. What's this? Why is this not done? Okay, that's the one that they're constructing. Okay, that's fine. What about this one? Where is you? Okay, that's the one that they're constructing. Okay, and then we have these two on this side. Okay, I'll, I chose the wrong side. I, took, I should have chosen this one, but you can see that this is this is still not being constructed. Okay, this one is okay. Let them let them do that. Let them do the, the voodoo. Okay, the rest of it over here is done. Even the silo can be uh, is connected, so we can we can even put the semaphores here. Do we need them? Not really, but uh, because I want to have to redo this anyway. So let's go for semaphores. It's gonna be something like this. Right, continuing on, uh, capital city, I think everything else is functioning, the only thing is that we need gravel here as soon as possible. Can I, uh, I'm thinking about this now, can I put this in production without finishing this railroad and finishing it while it works? Um, technically, no, you know what, no, just, just no, period. Let them let them work like this. We have one less train delivering gravel, so we should be able to handle, well, at least deliver a little bit more gravel than usual. Uh, how are we doing? Gravel storage is empty. This train that is going to Capital Industrial, this is the one that we need as soon as possible. Do we have wait until loaded? No, but I can do this. Yeah, let's wait for this one to be loaded because this is where the gravel is needed the most. 
Uh, right, we have a second train, but I don't know if I want to implement a second train to, to Galask because it's uh, underproducing the, the, the gravel anyway. So uh, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Some of the roads here, uh, they're not assigned to anything. Let me just check this out. So this is the road construction, capital roads. And this is the reason why. There's so many roads under construction. Let's see some of them. Uh, what are they doing? Oh, right, all the way here. Yeah, sure. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We need to get these out of the ballpark. A nuclear bus. Yes, let's go and finish those. What's with this? Again, a nuclear road, nuclear bus. You know what? Let's take nuclear bus because it's going to give us green signs wherever anything needs to be assigned. There we go. So let's go. Two of them are finished. We need, I think, not this one, but these three are definitely, they definitely look like they can be finished. Um, and then this one cannot because it's not even connected to the road. That's fine. Uh, what about this one? Uh, nuclear road can do this. Uh, can you? Nuclear road. Because these roads, uh, this is done. Uh, except this one here and it requires only eight tons of asphalt so let them finish this and i think we're going to be done with these with these projects over here well with the road system at least where the nuclear city is going to be based in okay what about the rest of these guys oh planes we didn't we didn't put this one in production uh fuel uh, do we have oh power supply oh we're gonna need a tower over here as well i totally forgot about this one doesn't matter doesn't matter let's go for control tower let's build this one uh, it can be... Yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, oh, it, it cannot be in the way of people going to work there and going to... You know what? Let's build it here out of the way. Is this out of the way? I'm really sincerely hoping. Um, yeah, this is going to be... No, it's going to be fine. Okay, let's let the control tower over here. Let's go. Let's start on the footpaths as well. So footpaths need to connect this uh, fire station with airport. The problem is the distance, 200 meters here. You know how much is the biggest one? 244. Okay. You know what? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna stop saying that. Okay. This one needs to go here. This one needs to go here and then from here we're gonna need to go directly over here because they're gonna have to enter the heating plant through the front of it okay everything here is connected except we need to connect this one this is a control tower control tower is gonna be working from nuclear one there go. okay what about these done 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 uh what do you need you need uh, buses here so let's go nuclear bus, finish this one. And what, what's with this one? It requires a little bit of concrete, but it's going to require, uh, you know what, let's get buses here as well. Nuclear bus, you finish that as soon as possible. Done, done, done. What's with this one? Nuclear two, what do, what's the problem? Concrete gravel, okay, so it requires vehicles. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, railroads, okay, that's all okay, They're all good. Nuclear, uh, sorry, the capital city is ready. Capital city is warm, uh, happiness of the people, uh, sports missing, spirituality, meat, electronics, that's falling down, they need jobs, that's not that hard, it can be done. The problem is, the problem is, we have too many projects with this road construction office that it's not taking new projects, and they have capacity, they have vehicles, they're just not taking it because they have too many unfinished projects. Uh, some of these, uh, let's do this. Let's do, let's fix those. So we have buses over here. That's going to be on the right hand side. On the left hand side, you have some of these roads that are on 80% or, or, or so. So let's see. This one is all the way here. Okay. So this is already assigned to this one. So we're going to go for buses. Okay. What about the next one? Uh, okay. One second. Let's just put escapes here. Yeah. I have a feeling that all of these are going to require buses. The steel is delivered. That's fine. Capital buses. Why the hell not? They, they seem to have a lot of free time. So let them finish this. Okay. This is progressing a little bit better than I expected. Just a little bit. Not too much. 
Okay, what's with this? This one requires just rolling and it's done. This one requires concrete. Uh, hopefully it's going to be delivered. Roundabout is done. What about these ones? Uh, Statsovo Road. You need a general whale tier to finish this. And you need a general whale tier to finish this one as well. As assumed. Perfect. Go. Roundabout is going to be done soon. So this doesn't require any more uh, infrastructure. So bypasses, mud roads, not required. This I'm going to leave for, oh, fuel station, the, the, the gas station. Uh, let's have you fueled, bad boy. Who's a good boy? There we go. Fuel here. So we're going to have fuel station on the entrance of our highway. We have another fuel station on this side, this entrance of the highway. We have the main road going to the roundabout from the capital city area. We said we're going to try to upgrade these... Uh, these over here let's let's do this uh whale tier general whale tier and uh, i think that's gonna be enough we're gonna upgrade all these roads again to uh, what i should have done from the beginning uh what about this uh stats over general whale tier that's all fine all fine uh beaches full of people uh well there's people here but uh, they're not shown unfortunately this is the mechanic that we cannot influence and did we where did we build the Volleyball courts. I think I did. I didn't I build them? Uh, that would be under attractions. No, no, under sports facilities. So if I go buildings and then sports playground. There we go. Um, yeah, unfortunately they are not seen. Ah, uh, no, that's White Beach. We need. No, I cannot click on them. Uh, unfortunately, they're not visible. Uh, let me see if I can build new ones. These um, these new uh, sports, 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 sports playgrounds. And we have volleyball courts. You can see how they're looking. At. They're looking sweet and nice. Can we do it around here? Uh, I can try. I can try this. I just wanted to see how they look like. You know what? I, I don't think... No. Well, let's build them manually. Let's build them. Uh, one here. Let's see how it's going to look like. Uh, I'm hoping... Oh. I can see something. I can see it here, but I cannot click on them. I can see them there, but I cannot click on them. Oh, okay. That's probably um, that's probably just the mechanic of the game and the mod. And uh, I'll build another one over here. I just wanted to see it being used or whatever. And it's probably temperature related as well. So it's going to be uh, fun. Fun is the best way I can uh, describe it. Anyway, capital city, uh, residential buildings. We are finishing these bad boys. Do you have everything that you need? Uh, bricks and boards. They should be here soon. That's fine. Uh, well, uh, can we have it in this episode? <laughs> this episode is the longest one I have recorded. I kind of had too much fun here. Okay, look, guys, this is going to be almost hour and 10 minutes long, so we're going to end it here. <laughs> I got carried away. Okay, that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it, let me know what you think. If you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Happy Monday, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.